There are some things we always bring in our carry-on bag. Hey, I'm Tom from Pack Hacker. In this video, we're sharing some essential one-bag travel items that a lot of our team members never leave home without. Thanks so much to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Let's jump in. An everyday billfold may not carry everything that you need while traveling internationally. Instead, look for a travel wallet to hold your passport and other essential documents for your next trip. It'll help keep things moving when you hit customs. Pick a passport wallet that will keep your essential documents from getting lost along the way. One of my favorite things to do here is to put less used credit cards and documents inside of the passport wallet. Then I have a separate minimalist wallet that I use for everyday carry, and I just switch cards out as needed depending on what I need that day. We like Fjallraven's Passport Wallet because its zipper design means you won't have to worry about anything slipping out while exploring a new destination. Other options like the Bellroy Travel Wallet on our Digital Nomad packing list include tiny pens for filling out customs forms. It also allows you to separate different currencies, which is great if you're country hopping. You don't have to pay a lot for quality materials and a sleek look either. Something like Zero Grid's Passport Wallet has great organization and a thin design, all at a lower price point. If you bring the right accessories for your phone, you can leave a lot of other gear behind. They help you do more with less when you travel light. While a case is essential to shield against accidental bumps or spills, it can act as an attachment point for other gear. The phone case from Peak Design has a dedicated connection point for things like a credit card sized tripod and a wallet that doubles as a phone stand, plus a lot more. Meanwhile, a mag back case reinforces MagSafe so you can securely attach your phone to almost anything metal. It also comes with a mag stick, so you can attach your phone somewhere like a car dashboard for better map visibility on the road. Or pack some extra lenses to enhance your smartphone camera. Some universal options clip onto nearly any phone. Or check out the Moment phone case. You can take your photos to the next level by connecting their additional lenses and filters. Then upload them to a shared folder when you get back to your hotel so everyone can see them sooner. Just be wary of the network you're connecting to before you do, because logging into an unsecured network puts your information at risk. NordVPN, this video's sponsor, protects your data worldwide with just one click. Get access to a private VPN by heading to nordvpn.com slash packhacker and get security features to keep up to six devices safe from malware and other bad internet stuff. If you watch other packhacker videos, you know that I'm all about efficiency and this thing is super easy to get up and running. Flip a switch and then bam, you're browsing incognito from anywhere in the world. As a web designer, I really love the clean user interface too. I use NordVPN to watch geo-blocked content shows and movies on streaming services like YouTube or HBO. I mean, really, don't you just hate seeing that geo-blocked screen whenever you're on a trip outside of your home country? The worst. No more waiting until you get home to catch the latest episode of Succession or Handmaid's Tale. Plus, when you use code PACKHACKER, you get four months extra on a two-year plan. Just make sure to head to nordvpn.com slash packhacker to redeem. They offer 24-7 customer support backed by a risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee. That's nordvpn.com slash packhacker to keep your devices and data protected anywhere in the world. When using your phone for more than just keeping in touch with friends and family back home, you always wanna make sure that it's powered up and ready to go. And that's why a battery bank is a travel essential. Your devices get a lot of use in the airport, during your flight, and while exploring a new city. You don't want your iPad to run out of juice halfway through a movie or get lost halfway to Heathrow Airport because your phone suddenly dies. While every ounce counts, a good battery bank is worth the wait, especially if it keeps you from missing your flight. The Nightcore MB10,000 is small and lightweight for its capacity, and it can fully charge most smartphones at least once before needing to be recharged. If you can get away with less power and want something smaller to fit in your pocket, there's credit card sized banks too. The clutch charger has a 3,300 milliamp hour capacity that's great for topping up your phone battery so you can find your way back to the hotel. It even has an attached cable so you don't need to bring another when you're on the go. However, packing an extra cord isn't a deal breaker as long as you bring along the right kind. Your phone, laptop, and headphones may all come with their own charging cords. That doesn't mean you have to bring them all on your next trip though. Instead, opt for a universal cable to charge multiple devices. Pick the length depending on what you need to power. We recommend a short cable to charge your phone from a battery bank and a long cable to connect your tablet from a wall charger. The Rolling Square InCharge X, for example, is about as small as you can get 
and it can even clip onto your keychain, so it's perfect if you're on the go. Meanwhile, they have a three foot or longer anchor three in one cable in your hotel or Airbnb for overnight charging. Length and connectivity isn't the only thing to consider, however. It also matters what the cable is made of, since a frayed cord won't do you any good if you're miles away from home without a replacement. The Kevlar material of the Nomad Goods Universal USB-C cable is super durable. However, you'll need an extra adapter if any of your devices use lightning, because it doesn't come with it. Can you believe we made it this long without recommending a bag? I mean, it's Pack Hacker for gosh sakes. Well, your carry-on bag might get you from home to a new country and may be too large for day-to-day -day exploring. That's why we always make room for a packable day pack, tote, or sling. It's nice to check out the sites without a bag weighing you down, but if you need to carry snacks, a camera, and some drinks, it probably won't fit into all of your pockets. A compressible bag fits easily next to your packing cubes and pouches. You can pull it out at the hotel or carry what you need throughout the day. Slings like the 8-liter Patagonia Ultralight Black Hole work well for shorter excursions when you want something slim, lightweight, and compressible. This one is perfect for a day trip to the zoo or an afternoon stroll to a concert in the park. If you need more room, opt for a packable backpack like Matador's Free Rain 22. It compresses to palm size and is made with waterproof materials if you're caught in a downpour during your hike, though it isn't fully submersible. Recently, our Pack Hacker Pro members also discussed the best packable backpacks for carrying a laptop. And it's tough because a packable bag doesn't often have a lot of materials to protect your laptop, but there are certain strategies and our pros are super smart when it comes to this kind of stuff. A toiletry bag or dot kit is a one bag travel essential. Why you might ask? Let me explain it. Along with making it easier to find what you need, keeping all your toiletries in one place helps prevent accidental spills. While TSA and other security agencies don't always require you to pull your liquids out of your bag, the officer still might ask you to. You'll have an easier time if you can just reach in and grab that one dop kit and easily separate it from the rest of your gear. Plus, we prefer keeping everything in one spot while we're on vacation because it's easier to find the face lotion or tweezers that you need if you're still super tired in the morning. Some prefer a kit with more pockets like the Osprey Ultralight Roll Organizer, which has four areas to stow and separate your gear. Otherwise, go with a simple dump pouch with minimal organization like the Gravel Pouch. It's more durable than a disposable baggie and has an adjustable handle to hang it up once you reach your destination. All that said, you'll still want to bring a separate quart-sized plastic bag along and leave it rolled up inside just in case you end up needing it. This one is more of an essential mindset than an essential product. Ooh. Instead of bringing along individual outfits, try to pack a capsule wardrobe for your next trip. Choosing clothing you can mix and match means that you can pack less. This is an essential component of our digital nomad packing list. We go for breathable fabrics with antimicrobial properties so we can wear them multiple days in a row. Neutral colors are easier to swap with one another. Layers are essential too, because we can wear them solo or under another top or jacket when the temperature dips. When packing, set your bulkiest gear aside and wear it on the plane to save space. A packable jacket also makes a great travel pillow, and then you don't need to find room in your carry-on bag for it. At the end of the day's adventure, hang up your clothing so they can air out overnight and be ready for the next day. Even if you cut a lot of pieces from your packing list, clothing can take up a lot of space when you're trying to pack minimally. Compression cubes can help you save space and contain the bulk. After all, you may pack more than one sweater for a winter trip. Compression cubes can pack the neatly folded or rolled clothing in a smaller space. Plus, you can fit all of your tops in one neat package that magically shrinks down when you close the second zipper. Compression puts extra pressure on the cubes, so it's worth going with a brand that you trust. Take Thule, for example. They're made with durable materials and YKK zippers, which are some of the most reliable out there. The Peak Design packing cubes are a pack hacker pick for their self-healing fabric and unique Hypalon pull tab access system, which lets you get right into your gear really fast when you want to unpack. We don't know how they do it, but to test this, we poked a couple of tiny holes and it just magically disappears over time with the self-healing fabric. We're thankful for this when repacking halfway around the world. Eagle Creek also has options in every size imaginable, even extra small for undergarments. However, no matter what brand you use, or even if you cram your gear into a gallon-sized Ziploc bag you sit on to squeeze out the air, you'll want to unpack when you get to your hotel, since compression cubes have the potential to create more wrinkles than other packing methods, even when you fold things neatly. And let's face it, no one wants to iron on vacation.
Getting a good night's sleep on vacation will ensure that you have the energy to explore all day long. So make room for sleep aids when you travel. Earplugs can come in handy throughout your trip. Tune out a baby's cries and chatty seatmates on the plane without having to blast your headphones. When looking for the right set, make sure they're adaptable to different size ears so you can find the perfect fit. We like Loop's quiet earplugs because they block noise while allowing you to hear in-flight announcements or your morning alarm. Plus, the loop that gives them their name makes them easy to take out. If you're trying to rest when it's too bright, you'll want to consider an eye mask. You can choose from silk, bamboo, or other soothing fabrics, or grab a buff to cover your eyes. There are also other options like sleep phones, which have headphones built into a stretchy polyester band. You can listen to white noise or soothing music with a band over your eyes to block out the light, and there are no earbuds to dig uncomfortably into your head if you roll onto your side. Just set your playlist to time out because they don't have an automatic shutoff. Our last one big travel essential is one we mention a lot because it is so useful. There are countless reasons that we always bring a carabiner around a trip. You can use it to hook extra gear on the outside of your travel backpack, whether it's a mini flashlight, ball cap, or Nalgene water bottle. If you're worried about it coming unclipped while you're running to catch your connecting flight, look for one with a twisting lock mechanism because it won't come undone accidentally. And it'll slow someone down if they're trying to snatch your gear as you pass by. Or grab a carabiner that doubles as a hook, like the Hero Clip so you can hang your clothing or towel when the hotel lacks enough hooks for everyone staying in the room. You can also use it to hang a backpack or sling from a table or the bathroom stall door to get it off the dirty floor. So there you have it, some one bag travel essentials we always make room for in our pack. So what do you bring along when you're traveling? Please let us know down in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe so we can keep the content coming. And thanks for keeping me here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. See you in the next video.